cheap but destructive. Russian glide bombs are destroying cities in Ukraine. Russia is increasingly using glide bombs, cheap but highly destructive munitions, to advance its offensive in Ukraine, writes the BBC. Thus, in just a week, more than 200 such bombs were used to shell Volchansk, and Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said that 3,000 such bombs were dropped on the country in March alone. Glide bombs are created by adding folding wings and satellite navigation to old Soviet bombs. They are cheap but destructive, the publication writes. As the BBC notes, Russia is able to stockpile glide bombs in large quantities because they are relatively easy to produce. The explosive part is essentially an ordinary iron freefall bomb of which Russia has hundreds of thousands left over from Soviet times, says British military expert Justin Bronk. They are equipped with retractable wings that move apart after the bomb is released, allowing it to glide over much greater distances. At the same time, the satellite guidance system attached to them allows you to target a stationary position with relatively high accuracy. The bomb mechanism gives the Russians much of the functionality of a multi-million dollar missile at a fraction of its cost, Bronk said. So according to his calculations, in addition to the Soviet bombs, of which the Russians have plenty, are added gliding kits, which are mass-produced and quite simple from a mechanical point of view, meaning that the cost of one weapon could be anywhere from $20,000 to $30,000. At the same time, the destruction that glide bombs produce is unusually great and turns even well-fortified Ukrainian positions into vulnerable targets. Because glide bombs create a much greater explosive power, they are more likely to cause collapses or loss of life, even in fairly well-fortified positions. Powerful explosions have also serious effects on the human body. The publication writes, at the same time, Bronk notes that intercepting bombs in mid-flight is not a viable solution due to their huge number, and the Ukrainian armed forces in this case will quickly exhaust all available air defense ammunition. The only solution is to hit the planes that drop them, either in flight or on the ground. As for the second option, this involves significant risks since the missile launchers could be spotted by Russian drones and hit by ballistic missiles. The remaining option is to use long-range missiles or drones to strike Russian air bases. This is the method Ukraine is using. However, this decision is also not without problems since the United States, the largest supplier of military aid to Ukraine, prohibits Kyiv from using any of its weapons systems on internationally recognized Russian territory.